Hi, I'm Nate and you're watching Photo Learningism. I really wanted to get into Photopea tonight to give you another alternate source of editing photos purely online, no software required. This one's pretty awesome. Can't wait to get to it. Let's dig in right now. Okay, so if this is your first time on the channel, once again, my name is Nate. This is Photo Learningism. We do a lot of work on this channel to try to bring us together as a learning community to surface mostly open source tools, um, usually looking for the cheap or the free ways to get things done and to improve your art technology experience. Um, I really welcome comments and feedback, and I would love it if you would join in the discussions that take place to make us stronger and more aware of the different tools you have at your disposal and enhance your ability to create. So subscribe if you haven't had that chance. Um, and uh, again, join in. Let's get to the Photopea that I really wanted to get to tonight. <laughs> so this tool is pretty wicked awesome in that, again, no software download required. I'm bringing it up in Chrome right now. It does just about anything that I've seen a full-fledged local client tool do, but in the browser, which is just, it's its astounding me the more I play with it. It supports raw images I'm using, NEFs, the Nikon raw images. Uh, it is doing the normal filters and things that you'd expect it to do. Uh, let's just take a step through. I loaded one of my pictures up. I'll, I'll take you through that process as well file and open you have the usual uh, menu right along the top here which is just super helpful you can load pictures straight in and it has a little raw, raw loader <laughs> tongue's getting twisted up with all the different changes here um, that work and that wasn't even that much of a, of a wait time that was about uh, yeah, it's a 20 um, let's actually check the, uh, the image size that is about 21 megs, 22 megs almost. So that was really quick to see that come up. You get your minor adjustments there to bring it up. And again, the transitions in very seamlessly and away you go. And it supports layering technology, which is really, really nice and easy to use. It has a, a contextual menu with the right click on a Windows platform, which is just so amazing and so helpful. Uh, you can very easily duplicate layers you can add new layers or actually group them, which is another really advanced thing uh, that you don't see in a lot of these kind of stripped off versions uh, on the web. So this is just, this is very well thought out, very powerful. And I just, I'm impressed the more I play with it some more. It supports layer linking, which is really, really crazy that you can connect these two and interact with them as one, uh, not unlike other powerful uh, photo editors, Photoshop and uh, Krita and GIMP, they all do that. Just really, really great thought that went into this. Uh, has the usual filters that you'd expect, the Gaussian blur and the sharpening and all that. Um, also very impressive is the ability to do adjustments. It actually has the graphical curves tool, which is quite impressive. And I don't see a whole lot of lag when using that, even granted the size of the image and the amount of data that it's processing in time. Uh, it also supports the usual hue and saturation uh, which is out there and uh, again very intuitive very well thought out very powerful um, you notice that there's a little bit of lag right now uh, so that may be because I'm, I'm recording it as I'm going but um, also it's just because of the size and the amount of stuff I'm throwing at it all at once um, so that's really cool the last thing I really wanted to mention about this that just impressed me just with a quick look through here and I would encourage you dig through this on your own because there's just so much to this that I just I could spend an hour going through all this and still haven't done, done everything. But uh, there's an API that you can tap into, which actually has some very intriguing things. And get this, this tool is free. This API right now is free. They mentioned that it is limited, but this allows for some programmatic image handling where if you wanted to pass that off and in real time offer that as a service on your website where you could <laughs> have things compile in the moment, you could do that with this tool, which is just, that's incredible to have for free. Check that out and read the documentation and uh, and have a look. What a powerful tool and what a great free offering from Photopea. Thank you guys for developing this. <coughs> Again, it supports raw. You can save out of here. You can save as PSDs if you want to, which maintains the layers and you can reopen it later. 
So this, this is an excellent portable tool that again, doesn't require any special plugins, any software. You don't have to go download it from the Chrome store. It's just out there on the web, photopia.com. I'll put a link in the description below. Go check it out. Do yourself a favor. <laughs> I'm just so impressed by this. Wow. No more words. <laughs> Go check it out. Once again, I'm Nate. This is Photo Learningism. Please do subscribe and connect to the community and plug in and uh, get engaged. I love hearing from all of you and, and especially hearing if this was helpful. If it was, please give us a thumbs up and let us know uh, if this is relevant and what you'd like to see coming in the future. I look forward to hearing from you and joining in. Thank you so much. Take care.